Hello, this is Max from Spaceship Villain, and I'm very excited today to bring you the very first in-game footage from our upcoming project, Nerd Brigade. This is a game that has been in production for a few months now, so I've got a lot of different stuff to show you, but I thought we'd start today with a really simple feature, something that just came up over the course of creating this section of the school. This is something that wasn't in our original design document, it just came up organically as I was building this level. We figured you're going to be spending a lot of time in this school over the course of the game. It's kind of like the hub area, a large town you return to in between missions. There's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of NPCs to talk to, and a lot of rooms to explore. Only a small section of that is available right now, of course, but we wanted to add this into the demo so you'll get a better idea of the sort of side quests and extras you might encounter throughout the school. So we were playing with retheming common JRPG elements to fit in with our own comic book parody universe. The individual dungeons are going to have their own equivalents of things like treasure chests, but we figured that the natural version of that for a school hallway is the lockers. So when you're walking around through these halls, you might find certain lockers which bring up this lock icon. That lets you know you can do something with this once you have more information. For the time being, it sets a little bookmark in your menu under the lockers heading, just a reminder of where you found this so you can come back later once you have the combination. Since this is just a quick overview of the system, and I know where the combination is, we're going to head up and walk into the library. This is a large area of the school, and it's where a lot of important things happen. First, you'll see some NPCs when we walk through. Up above is a girl named Hyper Alexia. She's going to be important throughout the whole game. You can always come to her and talk about current events, or find out what to do next. There are also a lot of hidden items scattered around the library. These include equipable textbooks and notes like the one hiding behind this book return cart. So now we can see that we have found the combination for the locker we discovered earlier. We check in our menu and we can see the combination 14, 22, 10. So let's get out of the library and back to where we found the locker. You'll notice I'm not getting attacked right now. I've turned off the random encounter battles for now so that I can focus on showing you just one feature at a time. We'll have an upcoming video about the turn-based battle system for sure. Back at the locker, we can see the notification pop up again. We're reminded that this is locker 110. In real gameplay, it would probably have been a while since you found that combination, but you can always go back to the menu to find it again. We remember that ours is 14, 22, 10. Now hit the action button to bring up the actual combination. Press left or right to turn the dial. This works pretty much like it would in the real world, with some modifications just to make it a little easier. You can open the lock by turning it in either direction as long as you alternate directions with each new number. We'll start to enter our sequence. It's a little forgiving, just like a real combination. You can be off by a little bit either direction. If you mess up, you can hold the direction for one full rotation to reset. Once all three numbers are entered, hit the action button again and success. It opens the locker and we receive our treasure. In this case, two baseballs. That might not make a lot of sense right now. They're used in projectile attacks, but we'll try and do a separate feature on character attacks and abilities sometime soon. For now, we can go back to our menu and see that we've added those to our inventory, and we can go back to the locker submenu and see that it's been updated with an unlocked icon to show that we have opened that locker and even remind us what we found. There are going to be a few dozen persistent lockers built into the full school environment, and you can find their combinations a lot of different ways. Some you'll find just by exploring, like we saw here. Others might be given in conversation with an NPC. We want to include a ton of variety and fun ways to engage with this environment and these characters. So that's all for this video. I wanted to start small with a relatively simple feature, something I just finished coding and was pretty excited about showing. I'll be bringing you a few more feature overviews with exclusive in-game footage from Nerd Brigade. Definitely the battle system, maybe something about the conversation system as well. So check back with Spaceship Villain over the next few weeks. We're going to have the demo released very soon, and then you'll be able to try it all out for yourselves. Thank you for watching.